Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and today we're going to answer the question, how far should your lights be from your seedlings? So we get asked the question all the time, how far away from my seedlings should my lights be? And the answer to that question is a little bit complicated, depending on the kind of lights you're using. The goal is to get your seedlings about 120 to 150 micromoles of, of photosynthetically active radiation, okay, so that's usable light between 120 and 150 micromoles per square meter per second. Now, how do I get that, you say, because I don't have a PAR meter. Uh, the reality is if you're using an LED light like the Philips lights, you can usually place these around 8 to 12 inches um, from your seedlings. And your T5s, you can usually place five to six inches and you'll end up somewhere in that range. Now, the next question is coverage, right? Because we're not just measuring directly under this light. If we just measured right here all the time, we could hit the numbers we want consistently. The question is, how many of these lights now do we need side by side in order to cover all of our seedlings? To answer that question, you basically want to actually set the lights up and look for nice even coverage. Now, if you have a PAR meter, that's great, but most of you guys don't. And so you're just gonna have to eyeball it. What we've found is that with the T5s, about four to five inches apart on those T5s is about the right spacing. On the LEDs, we can get away with a little bit less. For the same amount of wattage, we can spread these out about twice that length. So every eight to 10 inches on the LEDs and still get pretty decent seedling production. So the intensity is really, really important with seedlings if you're trying to move seedlings fast. Seedlings will usually grow if there's enough CO2, if there's enough of these other environmental variables present, they'll usually grow about as fast as you give them light. So if you give them a little more light, they'll grow a little faster. If you give them a little less light, they'll grow a little slower. And also important is day length, which we'll talk about in a different video. The big takeaway here is you want to be delivering around 120 to 150 micromoles per square meter per second of light to your seedlings. If you're doing that, they're gonna grow great for you and you're really gonna get great seedling production. I hope this video is really useful to you and answered some of your questions. If you wanna learn more about lighting, check out the lighting course at Upstart University. And please subscribe, add comments below. We love hearing back from you guys.